Hi guys, Alec Beer Scuba Tech Tips. So here's a here's a couple of ideas. Some of you've been asking about the power inflate valve, uh, how to keep it working properly and and, and avoiding service. And it's a, it's a good point. The buoyancy compensator is, is always been a bit of a nuisance. Buoyancy compensators are not inexpensive. You probably already know that. Very tough to get a decent buoyancy compensator for, for less than about $500. And $800, $1,000 is not uncommon. And yet they're made of fabric. They're like, they're like jeans or a t-shirt. They're made of cloth, fabric, really. And, and they're not designed to last for a long, long time like a regulator or a tank. Uh, but if you, you want to, you know, that kind of money... You want to get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years out of it, if possible, okay? This device, every BC has one of them. They may look different, but it's the same thing. The PIV, Power Inflate Valve, that's what it's called, uh, is, is uh, the part that is much, much harder to keep clean and expensive to service, too. That's right. Let me explain why. You, are, you recognize this. This piece at the top attaches to the shoulder up here on the left-hand shoulder. And uh, then the hose runs down. Now, the hose running down allows you to use it as an oil inflator. I don't know anybody that does it anymore, but the, that option still exists. More commonly, with modern scuba diving, as you know, you, there's a hose that comes from your regulator that goes on here under this little spigot, and you push that on at the beginning of the dive. And now when you want air into the BC, you squeeze the button, and the BC inflates. You like the sound? Anyway, so you all know all about this. And if you want to dump air out, you press the big button on the end and hold it up. And, and, water, and you start to sink. That's how it works. And there's also a dump valve that runs right through the middle. So there's a lot of components to this. There's a stainless steel cable through the middle. There's a little valve at the top, which is mainly plastic. There's a button on the end to dump. It's plastic. But this portion right here, this device right here, where the air comes in from the tank hose goes through this metal spigot, goes into this chamber, this area, and is trapped, and then when you press the button, that air is released into the hose to fill the BC. This little mechanism right in here is a fairly high maintenance item, and it's not inexpensive to service or to replace. Let me tell you, these, this head right here, this portion alone, is about 70 or $75. Yeah, so you want to keep it clean. Well, how do you do that? I do not recommend that you take it apart. There are some special tools and some special techniques. Each BC is different. Every power inflator valve is different. I just, it's a nuisance, but that's the way it is. You have to take this off and pull that apart and snap some things. And it's just a nuisance. It's so easy to break something. So how do you keep it clean? Well, there's several things. I already mentioned again, if you look at one of my previous videos, that there's a wonderful little device that snaps onto this spigot just as your power inflate hose does. But that device ends in a water connection. Water connection, what's that? That's a connection that goes onto a water tap, onto a garden hose or a water tap. And so after you put this on and you connect this to the water tap, turn on the water pressure, when you squeeze the button, guess what? Fresh water runs through that mechanism eh, and comes out the bottom. And it's just fantastic because that's fresh water. And it rinses all this out, it rinses out the inside of the spigot, it rinses out the little, there's a couple of different ways. Some of these reuse a Schrader valve, that little spring-loaded metal thing with a, and a little spring on it, a little metal spring, very fine spring too, and, and other metal parts. Some use that. Other ones use a stainless steel rod about an inch long with a couple of O-rings and grooves on it. It doesn't matter which it is, they're both subject to corrosion, particularly in salt water. You I mean, you press this down, that's what makes it move. Well, with that device that I mentioned in the previous video, that fresh water goes through and you squeeze this a few times, it cleans everything out of there. Oh, the dirt, the salt, everything is fantastic. But there are other things that you can do. So here's a really simple little tip that you won't find in any book. No dive star owner or service man will tell you about it. I don't think they even know about it. But it will help a great deal. Watch. Here's what you do. First thing you need to get is some water-based, water-soluble, silicone oil grease okay so th this this is silicone you can see it there this particular one is from trident very very common you can get it in smaller bottles and bigger ones as well but this is a good size not expensive at all and this is silicone silicone lubricant but it's it's dissolved in water so water based water soluble if you like and it's a spray thing on top watch see that's silicone you can spray it on your fins and so on. It doesn't hurt one bit. Well, what's kind of neat about this, since it's water-based, you see there's a hole in there. Can you see that hole in there, Kevin? There's quite a substantial hole in there. 
Now, let me tell you this little tip. Here's what I suggest you do. Just take that spray. Now, take another look, Kevin. I'm going to turn this down. You ready? Now, that hole is full of that water-based silicone protectant. Put it under your buoyancy compensator. And guess what? You now have a little, I don't know how much is in there, a fair bit actually, of that nice silicone water-based lubricant on that hose. Now what do you do? Your regulator's on your tank, right? Push the button. Now if you look in there again, you'll see all that's, it's all gone. Where is it? It's right, it's all through there. Went in. Lubricated, clean these the Schrader valve. It washed off the stainless steel. Lubricated all the oil, lubricated the whole darn thing. Some of it even went up the hose. Well, just isn't going to hurt. That's going to lubricate the stainless steel cable up to the valve. Lubricate the valve. Simple, simple, cheap, little tip that'll make this device last for a very, very long time. Okay, so if you want your BC that you just paid so much money for to stay working really well last for a long time and not need service rinse it really well as i mentioned in previous videos more than one but there's a little tip for you guys to keep your power inflate mechanism working really really well you won't find it in any book only ali pierce scuba <laughs> tech tips okay guys talk to you again real soon